All right, so number nine is what is two joules plus two joules? Now, great thing about energy, it's not a vector, it's a scalar, so they don't have direction. So all we've got to do, we don't have to do any sort of right triangles with west and east and stuff. All you got to do is add those up. So what's two plus two? Number Hopefully two. You know. Number ten. Uh, number ten. Uh, Carla Ferguson obviously launched a rocket with a initial speed um, of three hundred forty-three meters per second, um, and we're going to say that the initial height is zero at whatever speed that's at, um, and we want to find how high. So, what is the final height? that the rocket goes up to. Well, at the tippy tippy top, when this rocket is the tippy tippy top, its speed will be zero. Otherwise, it'd keep on going up. So it's that point at which it comes back to Earth. Great. So um, at this point, we can look at some things. So our initial velocity is something. So we definitely need an initial kinetic energy. Our initial potential energy, well, that's based off of a height of zero, so that initial potential energy is zero. Our final potential energy, we are having some height. We're high above the Earth, so we need to include that. Our final kinetic energy, though, is zero because our rocket is not moving at the top. Great. Um, as always, our mass is canceled here. So we have one half V initial squared equaling GH final. Um, we are looking for how high it goes. So um, I'll rewrite that half as a 0.5 and divide by g. Because g is multiplying h final, so I need to divide it to get um, h final by itself. Uh, so plugging in, so we have a half times our initial speed of 343 meters per second squared, all over 9.8 equals h. Final main thing in your calculator, don't forget to uh, square your speed. All right, uh, number 11. Uh, we got Winnie the Pooh throws Piglet down uh, from a tree branch, initial height of 11.3 Meters, notice like we're just using these over and over and over, so we just have them for every problem. It's basically gonna be filling them in. Now, since Winnie the Pooh throws Piglet down, um, Piglet does have an initial speed of 2.5 meters per second. Our goal is to find how fast Piglet's moving before he hits the water. Um, uh, and our initial, uh, sorry, our final height of the water, let's call zero, um, because we're 11.3 meters above the pond initially. All right. So initial potential energy, yes, we do have that because we have some height. Initial kinetic energy, yes, we do that. Do have that because we are moving initially. We have an initial velocity that's not zero. Final potential energy, final potential energy is zero because the height of piglet is zero. And then final kinetic energy, yes, we do have that. Piglet's moving, we're looking for that final speed. All right. Um, as always, mass cancels. We can divide each term by the mass. So we're left with G H initial plus one half V initial squared equals one half V final squared. Um, at this point, we probably want to plug in our values. So the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. Our initial height of Piglet is 11.3 plus one half times that initial speed that Poo gives, um, uh, and then one half the thing we're looking for squared. Great. Uh, if we plug all that into our calculator, we should get eleven thirty point eight six five equaling one half the final squared. Um, Great, so at this point we want to multiply both sides by two to get rid of this one half. Um, so we'd have two times 113.865 equaling V final squared. And the last bit, we have V final squared, so we need to take a square root. So we take a square root of both sides, square root of two times 113.865, 
will be Piglet's final speed.